Well, good morning, YouTube. Matt M. Roy back again. As you can see, it is a little past 10.30. No, I did not sleep this late today. I've been up for about an hour and a half. I uh, got some breakfast and uh, made my first cup of coffee. Uh, we've got a few things we got to do today. Uh, around 11, a uh, client is coming over. I'm going to do a data transfer and uh, basically install Windows 7. That's the computer I was telling you guys about yesterday. I did get confirmation he is coming over today, so yay. Get a little extra money for Christmas. Um, I did want to touch on a couple of subjects real quick. Uh, yesterday, I told you I went outside and I put all the cushions away and I noticed that the uh, fire pit was already rusting. Well, I'm not sure what we're going to do with that yet. Um, Dad says we should probably just spray paint it, which I thought was a good idea too. But as soon as Mom saw it, she freaked out. She's like, that thing's not even a month old yet. How dare that thing start rusting? Let's just go return it. Only problem with that is we got it online through HomeDepot.com and we've actually used it three times. So I don't know how favorably they're going to look on a return. So we're just going to have to play that one by ear. Um, I think we are going to just try to spray paint it because we like the way the fire pit works. It's just that the, whatever paint they used uh, was very, very thin. And unfortunately, the metal is coming through and that's why it's rusting. So I think we're going to get some uh, Rust-Oleum. Uh, rust preventative, just some black, uh, probably flat paint, maybe enamel, I haven't decided yet. We could spray it inside and out and hopefully that'll keep it from rusting any, any more than it is. I might try to scrape some of the rust off that's already formed on there. Um, if The easiest way to do that is just get some um, fine grit sandpaper and just kind of go over the rust that's there and get it back to bare metal. That way when you paint over it, the rust isn't as likely to come through again. Well, I am really, really tired from last night. I actually slept good, but I stayed up late last night. I was um, making some uh, copies of uh, that tape, the one I got when we were up in New York, the Imperials, uh, this year's model. And uh, I wanted to make sure that it recorded properly, so I stayed up a little bit later than I should. That's why I didn't get up till about 9 o'clock today. Um, I was actually just looking at a couple of videos on uh, YouTube. Um, one thing that really uh, got me interested is this YouTube Red. I know I've touched on this before. Um, I've noticed a steady increase in my AdSense revenue since uh, YouTube Red has actually uh, come out. And when I was doing some research, I found out that uh, people that are subscribed to your channel, yes, you can hear my phone in the background, <laughs> people that are subscribed to my channel, um, if they're watching uh, my channel and they're also subscribed to YouTube Red, then I actually get a little bit of that money. So for you guys out there that actually um, actually do the same, that actually have your own channels and people subscribe to your channel and also have that YouTube Red, you guys are going to see a little bit of extra money uh, coming from that. So it's actually a bonus. I, I did not know that at first. Um, I was just wondering why my, my AdSense revenue had been up. And... I am going to do a giveaway. That's something that's been on my mind for a while. I know I've said I'd do that in the past. Um, I just It's just been crazy around here with the holidays coming. After the holidays, as a thank you to you guys, I am definitely going to do a giveaway. Um, I have a lot of options, but I'd like to hear from you guys. What do you, what would you, what do you want me to give away? And I'm going to start small, just like everybody does, but just give me some ideas. Um, if you guys want me to uh, give away a gift card, maybe I can do that after the holidays. If you guys uh, want me to, to uh, if, you want, if you really want something that you've seen in one of my videos, um, we'll see about that. Just go ahead and put that in the comments down there, and um, we'll see what comes of that. After the holidays, probably late January, maybe February, uh, we'll actually do this uh, giveaway. So... Stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if Dad needs some help, and I'll talk to you guys in a little well, bit. Well, as you can see in the background, I've been watching uh, Vlogging Life, and uh, I love this video. He actually did a video the other day trying to repair his 24-inch uh, Acer uh, monitor, and he had to replace two capacitors, which I've done many times in the past. And uh, it works, for me it's worked about 50-50. Half the time it'll start working again, the other half there's more of a problem. And unfortunately um, he still had a problem. It would come on for about a minute or two and then it would cut off again. 
I know a lot of you guys have asked me, well, Matt, why when you get these computers in and they only have one or two bulge capacitors, do you just strip it and, and chuck the board out? The reason is they are just a pain in the butt to repair. Monitors are actually easy. Monitors, I mean, you can desolder a, a cap in a minute or two, but the kind of solder that they use on computer motherboards um, is much higher temp. And I don't have professional soldering equipment. Now, if I had a two, two $300 soldering iron that got up to, uh, you know, a high temp, high enough to actually melt that solder, then I'd be more inclined to do it. But with the, the equipment that I have, just the cheap Radio Shack soldering iron, um, it, it would t it, I've done it before, and it takes me about a half an hour to get one of those motherboard caps off. And unless it's something really nice, like, like a quad-core system, it's just not worth it to me. Um, I know that the one specific video people were asking about was uh, the one I got those two um, custom built systems from the local garage sale. One was a Pentium 4 system and uh, I think the other one was an AMD Athlon 64 X2 system. Now that one was good but the Pentium 4 system had bulged caps and again it's just not worth it to me to fix that. It, it's, my time is worth more especially for a Pentium 4 system. If I was to recap that entire motherboard which that motherboard did need to be totally recapped it probably would have taken me five or six hours of the equipment I have so for those of you that are asking that those questions that's the reason I really don't want to do it. Now again, if it was a computer that had a quad core processor, you know, something really nice, fairly modern, um, and it was only maybe one or two caps, then yeah, by all means, I would definitely try to fix it. But for something as old as that is, it's just not worth my time. All right, guys. So before mom left for work today, she asked me, what do I want for Christmas? And she said that I have to make a list. So I'm trying to do that right now. As most of you guys know, I've been trying to get a uh, small 7-inch tablet. You know, I do have my uh, iPad 2 over there, which is great. But I want something smaller that when I'm laying in bed at night, I can just hold in my hand. Um, something bigger than my cell phone, but something smaller than the iPad. So what I've kind of decided on is this. This is the Amazon Fire 7-inch tablet. Um, Jonathan, and I'm not going to try to uh, say your last name, but you know who you are. You um, said that this was a decent tablet. I know that you got uh, some of these um, for Black Friday when they were like $35. Well, they've kind of increased the price to $49.99 now. But um, I think this is going to be a good option for me. This is actually runs the Fire OS, so it's kind of a, a hybrid uh, Android operating system. Um, it does not use the Play Store, it uses the Amazon App Store, which has more than enough for what I'll need. As you can see, it automatically comes with the uh, Facebook, Netflix, and I think also uh, YouTube apps. And I can get all the other local apps that I use for this as well, so I think this is what I'm going to ask for. Um, I, we're not really doing too much for Christmas this year. We're trying to kind of just uh, tune it down because in the past years we've gotten a lot of expensive gifts for each other and gotten into a lot of debt. So this year we're just going to be asking for small items. And I think that's a good idea. All right, guys, so it's almost 11 o'clock. My client should be here any minute. He's pretty punctual. Just want to check on Simon. I know that he, I heard him coughing this morning, so I think he was having some allergy problems. You doing okay, buddy? Looks like he's feeling better. Let's check your eyes this morning. Come on, bud, I know, I know. Just want to check your eyes. Uh, no drainage, so that's good. That's good. Yeah, I think we're all going through it because the, the time of year, the weather change, it's really starting to get um, cold now, finally. And it's never good on our bodies, human or feline. Did that right, sign? Yeah, go back to sleep. All right, just gonna head outside for a minute. Dad's working inside right now. You see we have not taken our fall decorations down yet. I thought we were gonna do it yesterday, but we got busy with other things. Oh, just gonna see it is really crispy out today pretty cool I'd say we're probably in the uh, mid 50s right now maybe a little bit cooler than that 
it's definitely starting to feel like winter. I gotta check and see if we got mail yesterday. Oh man, it is just gorgeous out here right now. The combination of the crisp, cool weather and the sun, it's always beautiful. Oh, did forget to pick up the mail yesterday. Oh, let's see what we got going on back here. Oh, give you guys an update on mom's tree. It has lost all the leaves uh, for the winter, but it seems to be doing pretty well. Most of the branches are still fresh. We were losing a few originally uh, right after the tornado, but now everything seems to be holding up pretty nicely. Um, the trunk is was splitting a little bit in the bottom. I don't know if you, the camera will pick that up or not, but um, it's, it's actually uh, sealing up nicely. So I think we saved this tree. Let me go check back here. I'll tell you one thing that's always a pain about this time of year, leaf removal. <laughs> We don't have a lot of trees, but man, the ones that we do have really tend to shed a lot of leaves. What, what we usually do, and I think we're gonna do the same thing this year, we go ahead and we rake them all up into a pile. We're gonna wait till they get a little bit more than this. We rake them up into a pile and then we fill up towards the uh, Wednesday, which is um, when they pick up our garbage. So we do it about Monday or Tuesday evening. We go ahead and fill the bins up, our two garbage bins up all with leaves. So they'll empty it on Wednesday and we do that for about uh, three or four weeks. And that usually gets rid of all the leaves for the season. Just gonna check on the fire pit here. Eh, it's not looking any worse, but I tell you, if you look right here, you can see that it, the paint has actually just started peeling off. I can actually, it actually comes off with just my finger. So you have to take some sandpaper and sand that down. And then just hit that with some anti-rust, uh, Rust-Oleum paint. So uh, hopefully that'll keep it good for a while. I really don't want to return it because we do like the fire pit and we're probably gonna have a few more uh, parties coming really soon. I know we're doing something for Christmas and uh, probably another one with the car cub too. So uh, hopefully we don't wind up having to return it. Well, I think uh, my client's here, so I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Okay. Well, you probably noticed the video's a little different. I switched to my cell phone for this segment. I still have to run out and do some Christmas shopping. Um, I did not find everything I needed yesterday, and I needed to wait till I got paid. So that's all done, so I need to run out and grab a few last Christmas presents. Let's see if the uh, old girl starts today. Like a champ as always I tell you it's actually kind of hot out right now it says it's only 51 but the car it's been baking in the sun for a couple hours so got some heat built up in here um it was funny my dad uh asked me do i want to go out to uh, olive garden for lunch today because you know they have that unlimited soup salad and breadsticks for like uh 8.99 well i guess he forgot that uh, i defrosted steaks and we're going to do a huge uh, dinner night we're going to have uh, new york strip steaks mashed potatoes and uh, veggies so he decided to do something a little bit lighter i think he's going to bring he's going to go to wendy's and get like a burger or something he's going to bring me back another one of those um fondue uh fries which i will try to do a review on i actually had those the other day for the first time um, I was going to review them then, but it was a really hectic day. Uh, they were really slow, and I just got frustrated at Wendy's, and I said, forget it. I'll just have to do it another time. And I figured that way I can do a proper review. I already know what they taste like, so I can give you guys my uh, objective opinion. It is just absolutely beautiful out. I probably, you know what? I'm going to open the window a little bit, get some fresh air. You might hear a little wind noise, but uh, it'll help me out in here because I was sweating like a pig inside before. Uh, so if I get this done today, I'll have uh, all the Christmas presents for my dad, and now I'll just have to concentrate on getting something for mom or a few things for mom. She still hasn't told me what she wants. She's uh, she's just worried about getting through the work day. Um, her knee is holding up thank God, but now her back's hurting her, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact she was out for so many weeks, she's just not used to the chair anymore, and the chair is kind of hurting her back a little bit, but I think she'll get used to it, my dad's been uh, massaging it every night, you know, she gets home, she, uh, he, she lays down on the uh, massage table, and 
he does he massages the for maybe about five or ten minutes work out all the muscles and it is a muscular problem we know that for sure what the heck I tell you it is really backed up here is it you could tell it's the holidays because the traffic around here has gotten absolutely ridiculous any other time of the year you're lucky at this time of day around one o'clock you're lucky to get maybe four or five cars pass and I'm seeing an endless stream of cars going down the road yeah, it, it is the season, right? <laughs> I've been driving everybody in the house crazy. I love listening to Christmas music uh, pretty much all of December and even some of November, too. I uh, stream Shoutcast uh, through Winamp. I have an old version of Winamp. The last one that they released, I think, was like that'll run on Windows 2000 because that's what I use as my uh, streaming computer. And I've show, I know I've shown you guys that before. And uh, if you guys are familiar at all with Shoutcast Radio, you can go to shoutcast.com, and it's free radio to listen to as long as you want. Um, the ones that I usually listen to, I like traditional Christmas music, so I, I tune to uh, the 181 FM. Um, I do the Christmas standards, uh, traditional Christmas, and I think the other one is called... Um, Christmas rock or Christmas pop. I don't remember exactly, but um, they all stream at 128 uh, bits per second, which is very good quality for internet radio. There are a few other stations that go up to like 256, but they're mainly foreign stations and they play a lot of um, German and French music, so I just kind of don't listen to those very much, but I, I tell you, they they have some of the really good uh, songs on there, the 181. They play a lot of Bing Crosby, um, Perry Como. Uh, the last one I heard was the um, Bing Crosby, I think it was Bing Crosby? No, Dean Martin and the Andrews Sisters. Um, they did a version of Baby It's Cold Outside. And it just really puts me in the holiday mood. I really enjoy listening to uh, to Christmas music. Hey, you know what? Be fun if uh, if you guys think about it. Put in the comments what your favorite uh, Christmas song is. I would have to say mine is probably the Little Drummer, uh, Little Drummer Boy, done by Bing Crosby and David Bowie back in 1977. I'm not a huge fan of that song um, normally, but that version to me, uh, it just speaks to me. I don't know what it is. Uh, the harmony is just absolutely beautiful. Well, I'm about to my destination. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video for now. Um, hopefully we can do something else later on today. I'm not sure. I'll show you guys what I'm working on upstairs. It's uh, just that laptop, but it's not really at an interesting phase right now. Right now I'm just doing a virus scan, so I'll either show you that today or maybe tomorrow. Talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I am back home. I just had some lunch, and uh, before I wrap up the vlog today, I had a request from YouTube user Nick Roberts. He wanted me to uh, give him my thoughts on the GoPro that I purchased. For those of you that don't know, I actually decided to purchase the uh, GoPro Hero Plus LCD. Uh, this is their mid-ranged GoPro. Uh, some people call it entry-level, but it's actually the mid-ranged one. The higher-end ones would be the Hero 4, Silver, and Black. Um, I really... i tell you a few things about this. I, I love it, for one. I've always wanted an action cam, and it does what it's supposed to do. Um, it takes excellent uh, video. It goes up to 1080p. This is not the uh, 4K version. You have to get, I think, a Hero Silver to get that. Um, the only other, the only downside to this really um, is the fact. Well, I don't even really call it a downside, but you you can't hook up an external microphone to it. Now, for an action cam, that's not really too big of a deal, at least for me, because when I'm using this, I'm usually going to be vlogging. Um, in other words, I'll be bike riding, or I'll have it fairly close to my mouth. Um, but it would have been nice if they added that feature. Um, only the more ex uh, expensive GoPros you can actually add an external mic to. Um, it'd be either a lapel mic or one that you would actually hold in your hand. But um, other than that, I am very impressed with this. The, the sound quality is decent. It's not great. I mean, it is only mono. Um, but that's not really what the action cams are about. Action cams are designed to go places where you would not take a regular camera. Like, I wouldn't take my Sony camera, which I'm using now, 
uh, my CX240 where I would take this because this, let's face it, this camera wouldn't last. So if you're looking to get a GoPro and you're not worried about um, sound quality, in other words, if you're not going to be uh, talking a lot, if it's something like me, you're going to just maybe vlog a little bit or it's going to be closer to your mouth, then yes, I would say go with the uh, GoPro Hero or the Hero Plus LCD. If sound quality is an absolute must for you, then I would spend the extra $100 and go for the Hero 4 Silver or maybe even the Hero Black if, if your funds dictate that you can do that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here for today. Hope you guys enjoy these. Yeah, again, I always enjoy making them. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.